Hey everybody, Bayzat here alongside Risa, and today we've got the brand new King of Lords Selvage, the latest release from Naked Famous Denim here. We're gonna give you all of our thoughts, opinions, and let you know all the details about this beautiful fabric. And why don't you kick it off, Risa, with all the details, all the specs of all this right. brand new jean. So King of Lords Selvage is a Japanese heavyweight selvage denim. It is coming in at 23 ounces, so it's pretty, pretty heavyweight. Um, it is an unsumperized denim. You got a beautiful, beautiful texture. And uh, it is actually a King of Slub and Lord of Nep mix. So you got the slubbiest yarns in the world and neppiest yarns in the world, all in one jean. It also comes with this uh, very thick, beautiful buffalo leather patch, um, as well as these silver metallic um, hardware. hardware. Right. Yep. And um, Red Lion Selvage ID. Right. So you mentioned that this was an unsamphorized denim. And I think a lot of people, you know, the, you know, obviously I think our community, a lot of people understand what it is, but there's a lot of people who are getting into Naked and Famous, getting into raw denim for the first time. They're not really sure what unsamphorized means. And then on top of that, we rinse washed it. So can you let us know a little bit about what that process is like here? And what do customers need to worry about with these jeans? So, sumphorization is a process uh, that most of denim fabrics in the world goes through. Which this um, includes uh, pre-shrinkage. Pre mm -hmm. pre yeah, it pre-shrinks yeah. the fabric. <laughs> so, you don't have to worry about a big shrinkage when you buy the jeans. It's, it's already shrunk. So, you don't have to worry about like it shrinking so much in the size. Um, like, uh, that, like back in the day, sorry to yeah. cut you off, but like back in the day when jeans were originally made, they would... They didn't have on. They didn't have samphorization, right. so jeans would shrink like a full size, sometimes mm -hmm. two sizes after the first wash. Yeah. So when samphorization came around, it removed that so that you could buy jeans mm -hmm. basically off the shelf right. and not have to worry about the shrinkage. Yeah, but samphorization is not just a pre-shrinkage; it's also pre-skewing, so it's anti-skewing, so it doesn't like your your jean leg wouldn't twist after you wash them right. um as well as it 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 goes through something called singeing so it kind of like burns off the the the, the hairiness yeah, yeah from the and, cotton yeah right. that's why like a lot of um raw denim especially are are kind of flat it's very clean flat surface uh but the reason that we didn't um samphorize these jeans was because we couldn't basically right so if we were to take this King of Lords denim and run it through the samphorization process, the singeing would actually burn off all these little neps that are running throughout the fabric. So you wouldn't see them and, well, I don't think it would, it would actually burn them all off. So I think the fabric would kind of look like burnt and brown a little bit on where all the white spots are. Interestingly enough, you did mention that there was also no anti-skewing on this denim. So mm -hmm. denim, because it's a directional twill fabric, well, most denim is a directional twill fabric, so left-hand twill or right-hand twill, back in the day, pre-samphorization, fabric would twist along the bias of the twill. So you would have these, uh, you know, your side seams would kind of twist in on itself. Mm -hmm. And because we couldn't anti-skew this either, this is another, this is a super nerdy detail that I don't think enough people talk about is when you get an unsamphorized denim and then the leg starts to twist. You know, just like how selvage denim is kind of the proof that this fabric was uh, woven on an old shuttle loom, mm -hmm. the leg twist is the proof that this denim wasn't even samphorized. So I think it's a, if you're a super denim nerd and you see that on a pair of jeans, like, mm -hmm. you know. And, I, and I, I think it's kind of like that's a top tier, like, denim nerd knowledge because not everybody is there yet, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, so this denim is unsamphorized. Yeah. It's not, it's not skewed. Mm -hmm. It's not singed. Mm -hmm. Now we pre rinsed this fabric. Right. So like I said, the samphorization process includes pre shrinking without that, the, the jeans would shrink, you know, maybe eight to 10%, and which is a big, big amount. And because of the, the, the special details of this fabric, the, the, shrinkage on this fabric was, was very crazy. very high yeah so we couldn't really sell it because it, there's a lot of guesswork when you're choosing the size of an unsamphorized jean but this is also not the regular unsamphorized jean so it would just be crazy guesswork and nobody would be able to walk out of the store with these jeans right so it's just 
it, it was kind of a necessary process as well. Right. So by rinse washing it, it, it kind of takes out the initial big shrinkage part of it. So yeah. uh, you don't really have to worry about shrinkage after this. No, it removes yeah. the guesswork. You know, you can take these jeans home right away and you would have rinse washed these jeans or soaked these jeans anyway. So basically we just did that step for you. Mm -hmm. And the way that the yarn was constructed on both the King of Lords, sorry, the, the, the King of Slub and the Lord of Nep yarn, they're very loosely spun. So because of that, the shrinkage rate on this fabric as raw was like 30%. So mm -hmm. uh, unlike like a normal unsamphrized jean, like, you know, you can, you, you know, when you have the, the shrinkage charts, you can kind of manage and figure out what size to get. But when you're dealing with like a 30% shrinkage rate, it's, it's too much guesswork. So that's why we had to do the rinse wash for you. And it also makes the jeans a lot more comfortable mm -hmm. right away. Despite the fact that they're super heavyweight, I mean, th this is a beefy, beefy denim, 23 ounces, one of the heaviest weight naked famous denim jeans that we've ever done, heavier than the Elephant series, mm -hmm. right? Um, but despite that, they're actually kind of soft right away. Yeah. It, it kind of feels like a, I wouldn't say like all like a sweatpant, but when you look on the inside yeah. of the fabric, it looks like a French terry. You know, you, we all get a, the naps yeah. are creating these like fuzzy surface. It's actually really cozy. It's really neat the way this that this fabric looks. Now, when it comes to these yarns, we've got the King of Slub yarn and the Lord of Nep yarn. And these were two yarns that were created exclusively for Naked and Famous Denim. And it, it, it kind of got birthed out of like our drive to want to create like the craziest fabrics yeah. out so there. We had the heaviest jeans in the world with 32 ounce. And our next step was like, what will be the sloviest jeans in the world? And right. that was the King of Slub. That was the King of Slub. But when we were developing the King of Slub, I remember being in that production meeting and trying to explain what we wanted to do. And when you're trying to create fabrics, just like anything, you have to kind of work with what is available in the world. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we were going back and forth with our fabric supplier and they were trying to explain to us how what our, our vision, what we were envisioning was basically impossible. So much so that they actually brought the yarn supplier to the meeting to basically say to us, stop bothering us, they can't do it. But I, th I think the fatal mistake on their side was they brought the uh, the production guy and then they brought the sales, sales guy. guy. <laughs> and the sales guy was like, what are you talking about? Of course we can do it. So the sales guy kind of go to the production guy into actually, uh, you know, spending more time and making that yarn happen. And what we created was a super incredible low tension spun yarn that was super fat in some parts, super skinny in other parts. And that was the king of, low, uh, king of slub well, yarn. Yeah. It, and, and basically for the Lord of Nep yarn, they, they slowed down the sp uh, spin process even more that like little knots would start to form on the yarn. So the yarn itself looked like a string of popcorn mm -hmm. and uh, it created like this really, really incredible, right. bumpy, super weird texture. Um, Another thing that, that, that I find kind of interesting is that both slub yarns and nep yarns are like product of you know, not having the perfect machinery, not having the perfect production setting for yarns back in the days. And as, as like a, you know, denim nerds would get into that, like imperfection as like, oh my God, this is like the, the, the coolest thing. Yeah. yeah. So I just kind of, I, I kind of find it funny that we have, now we have the ability to make perfect yarns clean without naps, without slubs. And now we create for these. Yeah, yeah, like we're specifically asking them to make like the craziest, most, uh, you know, irregular yarns that back in the day would have been like, no, 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 no. Like this is not, <laughs> this is not this usable, is right? This is not yeah. good. We need to perfect the yarn, make it perfect. And now we're asking for making the imperfections for mm -hmm. us. That's, that's the beauty of mm -hmm. all. Of it. I mean, that's the whole beauty of raw denim in general. So um, let's talk about uh, the available fits. Um, the King of Lords will be available in our Super Guy, Weird Guy, Easy Guy, and Denim Jacket. Right. We don't have the Denim Jacket sample, but uh, you can see photos of that on the website. These are going to be available at select Naked and Famous Denim retailers worldwide. We've got a blog post linked in the description below if you want to see uh, more photos and a complete retailer listing availability. And uh, I think that pretty much wraps up 
everything you need to know about the King of Lords salvage. Mm -hmm. Let me know your thoughts about these jeans. Is this something for you? Do you like crazy and weird fabrics? Let us know. Let's continue the discussion down there. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye, everyone.